Okay, that's the integrate cosecant x times secant x. How can we do this? We are not really sure about how to integrate this, right? Secant x times cosecant x. How about let's just try to write everything in terms of sine and cosine. This is 1 over sine x, and this is 1 over cosine x. And let's do that first. So this is the same as integrating. I can put a 1 on the top over. This turns out to be the sine x on the bottom. And then this turns out to be cosine x on the bottom, like this. And now what? Unfortunately, there's nothing much we can do. But let me show you this way. I cannot use u substitution yet because there's really, I have nothing to cancel out. The sine and cosine, they are in the wrong place. Let's look at the one, and let's hope that we can come with something more so it will help us out. And because we're dealing with sine and cosine, I want to have more sine and cosine to work with. There's a famous formula. Well, we are going to do it backwards today. I'm going to look at one as sine squared x plus cosine squared x for the first time. Because we really need to have more things to work with, right? So let's do that. So in another word, this is the same as the integral of sine squared x on the top plus cosine squared x on the top. And then because they share the same denominator, let me just break them apart already. This right here is over sine x times cosine x. And then for the second part right here, it's also with the same denominator, sine x times cosine x. Like that. And what can we do? For the first part right here, the sine x cancel out one of them. So I'm just talking about the integral. What's this? I have sine x on the top over cosine x. This right here is tangent x. And then on the second part, this cosine cancel one of them on the top. So I have what? Plus cosine x over sine x. That's cotangent x dx. And then to integrate this, to integrate that, you actually have to look at sine of you actually have to look at tangent as sine x over cosine x, but we have done that a lot of times already. This is something that we should definitely remember. This is ln absolute value secant x for tangent. And then to integrate cotangent x, this is going to be adding ln of absolute value of sine x. That's the result of integral cotangent. And right here, you can just put on plus c, but then something is really cool. First of all, we have two lns. So we can combine the LNs together, and then we just multiply the insides. So this is the same as LN, absolute value, secant x times sine x. So let me write it as secant x times sine x inside of the LN. And then remember, sine x, I mean secant x right here is 1 over cosine x. So this is the same as LN, absolute value. I have sine x multiplied with 1 over cosine, which is the sine x on the top, over cosine x on the bottom. Which is what? This inside is tangent. So this is ln, absolute value of tangent x. And then we are done. So plus c right here. And this is how you do number six. That's it.